Hi boys and girls, today we are going to read The Great Fairy Tale Disaster with the best loved fairy tales by David Conway and Melanie Williamson. Once upon a time there lived a big old bad wolf. He no longer had any huff and puff to blow down the three little pigs houses and he had had enough of falling into hot water. What I need, the wolf thought to himself, is a nice relaxing fairy tale for a change. So he scampered off into the pages of the fairy tale book to find one. Cinderella was busy sweeping and hadn't noticed the wolf's dark shadow appear in the doorway. I want to be in your tail, he growled. Of course, stammered the frightened Cinderella. Take my plate. I know you'd love to go to the ball, she said to the wolf, and so you shall. There was a flick of a wand and a burst of a light. Wolves don't wear dresses, cried the wolf, hobbling off in glass slippers to find a different tail. Soon after, the big bad wolf crept up behind Jack on the magic beanstalk. Jack trembled as he let the wolf into his fairy tale. The big bad wolf was climbing up to the beanstalk when he saw two huge feet and heard horrible giant voice bawling. Fee, fi, fo, fum. The, this tale's too scary, cried the wolf as he slid back down the beanstalk to find another one. Then the big bad wolf found Sleeping Beauty snoring softly in a bed. Wakey, wakey, he snarled. Out you get. There the big bad wolf lay, so beautiful that the prince could not turn his eyes away. He knelt down and gave the wolf a kiss. Yuck, spluttered the big bad wolf. I hate being kissed. So he dashed away to try his luck somewhere else. The big bad wolf ran to the three bears' empty cottage in the forest. He opened the door and stepped into the tail. Yum, he said. Porridge, my favorite. The big bowl of porridge was too hot. The second bowl was too cold. But the littlest bowl was just right. So the wolf ate it all up. This is the laugh, said the wolf, as he sat down in the big comfy chair. Suddenly, the door opened and in stormed the three bears. Where's Goldilocks? Demand, demanded Daddy Bear. What are you doing in our fairy tale? Scowled Mummy Bear. And where's my porridge? Cried Baby Bear. The wolf made a dash for it, but the three bears chased him into the next fairy tale. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your long hair, called the prince. And then the next. Who's tripping over my bridge, roared the troll. I'll eat you for breakfast. And before you could say, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of all? There was chaos and confusion everywhere. The princess didn't kiss a frog, but she did kiss a billy goat gruff. Hansel and Gretel pushed Prince Charming into an oven, and Puss in Boots pricked his paw on a spindle and fell asleep for a hundred years. What a mess, cried the big bad wolf, and he escaped back through the pages of the book to the three little pigs. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, huffed the big bad wolf. No, not by the hair on our, of our chinny chin chins, said the little pigs. We will not let you in. But the wolf had already cl clambered up onto the roof and he was coming down the chimney. I need to land splash in a pot of hot water. Oh, not again, cried the wolf. And that was the end of the fairy tale troubles.